Hello folks, this is Mighty Scon back here with another episode of Arcanum. Alright, so we are going to go to um, take care of the quests where we need to talk to the guy in Ashbury. We found uh, Burbottom is his name. And if we look at our book, we can see that... Elmer Birdbottom, Hall of Records in Tehran. I was given an address 14 Trellis Way. Trellis Way is up this way. So this is 14 Trellis Way. Let's go in here. Oh, somebody just, just teleported up. So what do we have here? Where's he at? There he is. Help me, please. Sir, what happened here? I was attacked. I have been wounded. It hurts. Oh god, it hurts. Sir, who are you? How can I help? I'm Kendrick Wales. Perhaps you've heard of the book I wrote? The Curse of Seng Ang? Yes, I've read the book. That's why I'm here. What do you mean? Perhaps this isn't the best time, but I'm looking for Elmer Burbottom. Elmer Burbottom? Why you are you looking for him? It seems he's involved in something I'm investigating. Listen, friend, I don't have much time. The weapon used on me, I think it was magical. I can feel the life leaving me now. I am Elmer Burbottom. You are? I don't understand. Kendrick Wales is merely my pen name. I don't think anyone would buy a book from someone named Elmer Burr Bottom. It seems so trivial now. And so you paid Wesley the butler for the information? Yes. And now it seems the death of Victor Misk is on my head as well. It seems none of us can escape the curse. Perhaps not even you. Kendrick, save your strength. I'll get some help. Sorry, my friend. I don't think there's anything to be done. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Tell the Widow Misk I'm sorry. Kendrick, hold on. And he's dead. Okay, so we've now found out that the butler was the one who sold out Victor Misk. And we can go tell that to uh, Miss Misk. Okay, first we want to go to Pits of Fire. Let's do that first. Okay, here we are at the fire pit. Um, there are some adventures here. Hello, adventurer. And who might you be, sir? I am Jairiad, noble warrior from Flamekeep. These are my brave companions, Marawand, Rindiak, and Frondo. <laughs> Frondo. Like Frodo. Who might you be? I am Midas Khan. So what is your, your quest? Are you here to recover the flame blade of Xerxes? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. We too are here for the same purpose. We have been sent by Baron Sug himself to retrieve the blade. A sizable fortune awaits our successful return. Um, I'm here for a much more noble purpose than the coin. Well then I wish you luck in your endeavor as I am sure you wish us. So they, uh, they should go in.
Okay. Gotta be careful with this, because... We do lose damage in that fire. We do damage our equipment, too. We got the uh, Blade of Xerxes. The dagger... It's, uh, okay. We need to get our stuff repaired. I'll do that. All right, let's go back to uh, Caledon. Let's go to... Okay, we're here in Caledon. Let's go talk to uh, Misk. Hello, Miss Misk. Have you a moment? Certainly. I found out who sold the information about Victor. You have? Who was it? Who else? The butler did it. I see. Well, I suppose you just never know about people. Even the ones closest to you. Perhaps there was some justice in his untimely death. Thank you for your help, sir. What do you mean his untimely death? Haven't you heard? He was found in his home a few days ago. A knife buried in his heart. Perhaps there was something to the curse after all. Well, I thank you for your help in this matter. My pleasure. A good day. Alright, so that is going to be it for that part. We still have to go to Rosenboro. Okay, let's uh, talk to the chief. You are right, it's a real joy retrieving the Blade of Xerxes. I can only say I'm glad that it was you, and not me. In reviewing all the evidence, I think it was fairly obvious this creature is holed up in the old sewers. Go to the sewer entrance on... On at the end of this street, the guards will let you in. All right. Here's the zoo, by the way. Different uh, creatures, even spiders. Wolves. Okay, so we have to go into this building here. This is the sewer entrance. Uh, let's just go on in. We need to be careful about our companions not killing him. So he should be... Right there. Vincent. Okay. So there's uh, one of the quests you're going to need to do for the um, ancient gods. It does require these bone-handled daggers. I think you need at least two of them. You could sell the rest of them.
Okay, before we talk to him, we're going to need to do two things. We're going to need to get a... Equip the blade. We have to use the blade on him. What is it that you want? I'm going to give him all my stuff. So we equip the blade, and then we have to uh, tell our party members to hang back for a little bit. We don't want them to kill him. So if we kill him with anything other than the blade, then he will be loose what upon the earth. What is it that you want of me? Which isn't a big deal. Um, doesn't affect the game in any way. Yes, of course. So what would you like me to do? Wait here for a while. I don't like leaving you alone. Uh, wait. There we go. Okay, so here he is. We want to um, whittle him down and then use the sword on him. using his necromancy on me. I'm going to actually put my uh, shield on. Okay, so he has the shield on now. What we can do we can knock him out with that shield on. So we can uh, use our spell and strain his uh, will. Let's give us more turns. Oh, we can't use that on ourselves. Be careful if you drop the weapon. You'll have to be careful and uh, pick it back up. You might have disarm. I think his disarm is a spell. Yeah, we can't do anything to him as far as magic wise because we have this mage lock on us. We need to wait for him to go um, run out of mana. Could use a uh, haste potion. Let's do that. We'll have a lot of turns now.
Okay, so now he's uh, down. It should be pretty easy from then on. You can't miss when, you, when somebody's out of fatigue. I mean, you could critically miss. That's because I stink at melee. There we go, he's dead. Alright, he's gone. So, we look at our book. Yep, you, uh, okay, so you're done. You have, uh, killed the guy. Let's go. Party member's back, and we should be off. What is it that you want of me? I'm ready to get going when you... Alright, so we're back. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay. Somehow it triggered the music. Oh. Oh, this is another quest. So we witnessed uh, this Lycanthrimp killing a bunny. There's another quest here for that. Okay. We'll come back to that one later. Right, let's talk to him. I have the camera with the images of the f machine flying. Yes, vindication. Thank you for this. Not only will I be allowed to carry on my work, I can also make those advisors look ridiculous. I owe you a great help. I owe you greatly for our help. So now we get a medical arachnid. There we go. These are pretty nice. Uh, there it is. So you can deploy those by just dropping it um, using your uh, skill ability. All right, let's go in here and talk to these people in here. Can I ask your name? David Witt, uh, owner of this farm. What do you grow here? I don't grow anything. These, This is a fur farm. I raise rabbits. Okay. Sounds as if you do quite well for yourself. Done all right for my daughter and myself. At least I was... was what happened. Something very strange has been happening lately. Every night one of my rabbits is, is killed and partially de devoured. Signs indicate a large beast of some sort but no one else in the area is being bothered or has seen anything strange. If you're available, I'd really appreciate some help figuring it out. I'll try. How long has this been going on for? Killings have been happening for nearly a full lunar term. Things keep up at this rate. I'll be ruined within another two. Rabbits breed quickly, but not that quickly. But a dog. There aren't any wolves around here for miles. I don't own a dog. Tried that before, too much trouble keeping them from scaring the rabbits. I never had one that ate them, though. Does anyone else live here with you? My daughter lives here with me. You can talk to her if you'd like. She's been missing a lot of nights. I suspect she's sneaking out to see her betrothed uh, to be young again. Let me talk to her and I'll see if I can find anything else out. Okay. My name, uh, your name is Cynthia. Can I be something? I'd like to talk to you about the rabbit slings. Oh, it's awful. The poor things. Uh, how do you know about that it is a horrible beast? Well, I don't know for certain. It is just that I have these nightmares about it every night. I dream of some horrific beast attacks and devours one of my rabbits. And every morning I wake up and it's true. Please help us. Have you seen anything? Perhaps as you return from your tryst? Oh no, I, is that what my father told you? I was seeing my betrothed for a time, but I have been so exhausted lately. 
I have not been awakening to my Arthur rendezvous. Exhausted, but why? I'm very distressed. What is happening with the rabbits? As soon as the sun sets, I'm out of my room and fall into such a sound sleep. I do not awaken until it's morning, but I am always awakened from the nightmare. And I check on the rabbits and another has been killed. Okay, I'll look for clues. Thank you for your help. Let's go to uh, evening. Rabbits hit pretty hard. I have to go back to the morning. I discovered what's happened to your rabbits. You did what? I'm afraid it's your daughter. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, but I have to tell you this, but she's a become a werewolf. Werewolf? Oh no, my, my baby. It can't be. Oh, we would probably have to kill her. No, don't hurt her. She's all I have left. Perhaps, have you heard of a cure? Uh, must be off. There is a cure for this, and it's in Tulla. We just don't know of it. level up. Okay, let's go talk to uh, the police chief. Good work dispatching the demon. Thank the gods. I didn't have to do it this time. Here's the reward for killing the blasted thing. It's been a pleasure. Alright. So we have uh, money now. We have this blade too. I don't think we need this blade anymore. We also got a large armor, which we can't use. Okay, we're going to talk to Arthur Tyron. Bring the skull. Yes, here they are. Yes, yes, it is all coming together now. What is? I have uncovered the plot, the ramifications of which could bring down the government of Tarant, but I will need your help to finish my work. Is that so? Haven't you ever wondered where all these half-ogres are coming from? A hundred years ago, a half-ogre was a rare thing, usually the result of raping and pillaging. But when human women aren't equipped to birth the baby of a full-size half-ogre. It's rather strange, never thought of it before. They are breeding them. They've established, they've enslaved women, and are forcing them to mate with ogres, I tell you. Who is, who's doing this? The gnomes, gnomes of the Industrial Council of Tarant. Haven't you ever noticed that every gnome seems to have at least one or two half-ogres always following him around? They're breeding them for protection. How did you find out about all this? Oh, I've never... I've been on the trail a long time. I have, and now that you have brought me the skulls, I'm already too close in the... Gr in, in and grab the proof I need to expose them. It's just that, well, I'm not much of a the way in physical prowess. I need someone I can trust to collect the evidence for me, as I don't think I would survive... It is sure to be a treacherous endeavor. What does all this have to do with the skulls? The Siamese twins are the result of the first twisted breeding experiments. They tried to breed elves with orcs to produce a breed of extremely strong, resilient mages that they could control. Uh, this was before it was obvious that technology would one day rule Arcanum, of course. So what happened? The twins are the only viable offspring to come from those experiments. They were scheduled to be put to death, but they disappeared from the laboratory before their termination could take place. They appeared in high society 20 years later. We believe they must have been under the protection of a powerful ally of ours on the council for them to have survived that long. What do I need to do? 
In my research, I've discovered that most likely the location for this breeding facility is a small island dubbed Half Ogre Island near Thantos. Uh, you would need to find a way into the laboratories to bring me some sort of evidence I could use to expose them to the world. I will do it. Excellent. Agreed. I shall return with your proof. Alright, so that's the next quest in that series. Okay, what we're going to do now to wrap up this episode is actually go to the Half Ogre Isle. So we need to go to a boat. Right, let's talk to the captain and see if we can get there. Looking for passage to Half Ogre Island. Passage will cost 500 coins. Okay. I'm ready to go. You just follow this path and should be fine. Okay, so this is the warehouse slash breeding area. Looks uh, pretty creepy. But if you go to the safe here, there's a book. That's what we need. In. And it's got a bunch of experimental stuff and it tells you all about what happened. Uh, I haven't explored this place before, so I'm not sure what you'd find in this place. Yeah, there's the island here. I don't know, like, where to go in here, if there's anything special to go into. Um, so I'm just going to go back to the boat and wrap the quest up. Alright, here's Arthur's house. Let's go in. Oh, it's a gnome. I'm glad you're here. You were working with Tyrone, were you not? Who are you? Where is Tyrone? I do not know. I was meant to meet him here. We were to exchange information. Oh really? And what information would that be? Information that is dangerous to possess. I've been on the same search as Tyrone and his colleagues, but I believe I have gone much deeper. What have you discovered? I should be asking you that. You have recently acquired something, damning to certain parties, have you not? Which think I have. Ah, I see. Very wary. That is smart, as the trail we are following is a dangerous one. Very well, I shall share with you the information I have gathered, and you can decide for yourself, whether you to believe it or not. I'm not certain how much of it I believe myself, but this is what I've found out. I'm listening. About 55, 55 years ago, a group of gnomes from various parts of Arcanum began to acquire large amounts of money from investments in new technology. As their wealth and perceived influence began to grow, age-old prejudices began to surface. Gnomes were thought to be miserly thieves, the other races did not trust them to gain power. Go on. There were thefts, beatings, and threats. Mysterious letters in the night warning the little gnomes to keep to their place. The gnomes tried human bodyguards to no avail. Any human that would be a bodyguard to a gnome at that time was, by definition, an untrustworthy, shifty sort, shiftless sort. At first, they tried unsuccessfully to breed elves and orcs. Into some basic, to into some bestial 
magic hybrid to do their bidding. Siamese twins? Exactly. But you own, you know all about what happened with them now, don't you? It was a foolhardy idea to begin with, at any rate. Orcs have a natural dislike for gnomes, and gnomes needed something much more docile. I'm uh, listening. The next obvious choice seemed to be half ogres. Uh, tired of being hunted and the promise of large amounts of food gained, the gnomes extremely loyal bodyguards, but they there was a problem, and half ogre was a very rare thing in these, those days and with good scientific reason for being so. And the gnomes without bodyguards were used as leverage against those protected. Continue. Magaya's concentration of these gnomes were in Tarant, which is still a monarchy at the time. They pleaded with the king for his help, but the last thing the king wanted was a group of rich banker gnomes with power in his kingdom. The beatings continued, and the king and his court turned a blind eye to their plight. And that was when, well, let's call him Mr. X, decided to act. Mr. X? Yes, he hired a prostitute to go home with him. One evening, he locked her in the basement, where I also happened to keep a full-blooded ogre. You can imagine what happened. Then she died giving birth, as was to be expected, but Mr. X now had his future bodyguard. He recruited some other gnomes, and the kidnappings began to in earnest. Happened then, for safety's sake, he set up a breeding laboratory on the island. You visited. Their plan wasn't working out as well as they had hoped, as the women all died giving birth, and the more prostitutes disappeared, the more the authorities were looking into their affairs. They decided to try surgical means of delivery, but the women were too sickly to survive that. Go on. This is when the king's hirelings discovered what was happening. Unfortunately for the king, the gnomes had become incredibly rich, and this time, rich enough in fact to purchase the king's murder. And the kidnapping of the queen and her young son, rumors began circulating immediately, pointing to the queen as the killer of her husband. The queen was brought to the island, wasn't she? Yes, she was the patient in the... First successful operation, she mothered three before she passed. I believe soon after the Industrial Council gained power in Tarant, the dis disappearances of prostitutes began to slow down, but a mysterious rash of disappearances of the wives of and daughters of political enemies of the Council began. That's horrible. They only lasted for a short time, however, as they had now bred enough half-ogre females to no longer need to rely on human breeders. They have hundreds of them now, kept in cages on a breeding farm somewhere. They keep this whole thing in a cloud of mystery by releasing half-truths, lies, and even real information through unstable individuals like Tehran. So no one believes any of it. Exactly. Everyone believes it to be the imaginings of a madman and paranoids. Is this all true? That's a good question. We must not be too anxious to believe it because... We want it to be true, or too anxious to disbelieve it because we want it to be false. We must remain neutral in our decision as to whether it is true or not. What? That's absurd. It's either true or it isn't. Hmm, none of this is true then. Well, maybe some of it. I'll bring proof to the press. I'll expose this whole thing. What do you have? Nothing. You have a journal that was left for you to find on purpose which could have been written last week. What have you seen? Why, I believe you saw an abandoned warehouse, nothing more. Save what your twisted imagination made it out to be. Uh, we can kill him. Why are you doing this? We always need to be, need more converts to spread the word. You might have had real information, but now you don't any know anything. What have I told you? Is That is real. Feel free to tell anyone everything I have told you. I'm sure the press would love to hear your story. Perhaps a good day to you, sir. It has been a pleasure. Uh, okay.
All right. So that's pretty much how this quest ends. Um, we can do a couple of things. We can go sell the journal to the press, and we could also um, sell the skulls, but uh, that won't lead to anything really. So that's pretty much it for this quest. And actually, that's gonna be it for this episode. I right, thank you for watching. Next episode, we will go to Rosenboro and probably Sinang, and then find out what Mingarad is. So thank you again. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.